y'all it's katie welcome back to another animal crossing new horizons uh flat core island tour <laughs> no i'm just kidding clearly i have flattened calico and if you're not sure what that means it essentially means that i've gotten rid of all of my decorations i have completely gotten rid of all of my terraforming my flowers my trees absolutely everything i temporarily moved all of my villagers houses and different buildings to the beach so that way they're out of the way and we're starting fresh we are redesigning every single element of my island and I wanted to bring y'all along with this journey of mine. And this video, I am going to announce my next island's theme, so be sure to stick around so you can hear exactly what that is. But two, I wanted to share with y'all my process after flattening an island, exactly the steps that I personally take to make it a little bit less painful on myself as a process. So if you guys like being inspired by Animal Crossing content, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and then comment down below before I announce it what you think my next theme, my next concept is going to be for Calicove. There have been a few people that have guessed it, but very, very few. So I'm curious as to if you will as well. With that said, y'all, I think we should just go ahead and get started. I'm gonna share with you five tips as to what I do after flattening my island and start on a new design concept. So as y'all can see, there is not much happening here. We have Julian jazzercising in the corner, but other than that, yeah, nothing on Calico, except some grass and some rocks. That is pretty much it. So the first thing that I personally do after flattening my island is going through the storage in my home. Now, I didn't change the interior of my home because I was so busy just changing the exterior into nothingness, but with that comes a lot of storage space being filled, right? You're grabbing tons of items, you're putting them in your storage, and it starts to get really really full i mean i only have a few more spots left it looks like out of the 1600 we're given and i don't even have all of the items that i want for my next concept so the first thing that i would suggest is go through your storage and find those items that you don't think that you're gonna need in your next build for example in my last calico rendition i had an outdoor treehouse library kind of concept nan had a library i have so many of these bookshelves that quite frankly I don't need. So one of the things that I'm going to get rid of are the majority of these bookshelves. I'm going to hang on to, let's say these bottom two rows, but for the most part, I don't need them. I do think I'm going to use some simple panels, uh, maybe a few of these items, but I don't think I'm going to use a ton of these cypress plants either. Maybe a few of them, like I said, I'll hang on to. But the good thing is y'all, even if you get rid of a lot of what's in your inventory, you can always get these items back by either recrafting them or possibly by ordering them through your uh, Nook's, Nook's station, <laughs> Nook's cranny, not Nook's cranny. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of these items I do want to keep not sure about the teddy bears. Those are uh, to be seen. Um, a lot of these are actually newer items that we are going to be using in my next concept. But like this, mm, I'm not sure if I want this teacup ride there. Jail bars I'm definitely going to use, so I'll hang on to those. The great thing about organizing your storage is not only the ability to just clear out those unwanted items and unwanted pieces of clothing to free up space, but it's a good reminder as to the items that you have and maybe forgot about. You might be inspired just by taking a look at your current inventory and assessing the situation there. So the second tip I would give to y'all after flattening your island and restarting would to be planting foliage. This would include flowers, shrubbery, trees, everything that you think you might want so that way it can be growing and blooming by the time you want to decorate. Uh, now, if you are smart and big brained, you might've saved some of your flowers and transported them to the beach, but I wanna go with a different color scheme and really change everything up. So I got rid of everything, which is why I am starting to plant and stunt trees now here on Cali Cove. You'll see I have five of each kind of tree 
each kind of tree. Well, just the two main ones. <laughs> we have the saplings and the cedar trees. And I wanted to go ahead and stunt some of these trees as well. Basically meaning that I stop their growth in a certain phase. This is what they look like when you first plant them. This would be day one, day two, day three, day four, and day five. Oh, sweet little pearl and you can see the different stages of growth. Now, you might be wondering about these little sprouts behind some of the phases. Well, in order to stunt a tree, for example, this teeny tiny one right here, if I wanted to keep it in this exact phase and have it not get any bigger, all I would have to do is dig a hole behind it and plant a piece of fruit. It can be any piece of fruit, but that stops it from growing any bigger. However, remember, when you're transporting this to a different part of your island, it'll keep growing unless you do the same thing. You put that peach right behind it. So I personally just prefer these three phases of growth. I usually don't use these itty bitty ones. Um, however, they can be super, super cute as well. So not only is stunting trees a really easy thing to do, but it helps create depth and dimension. So yeah, my second tip would be plant those trees, stunt them at certain phases, but also go ahead and plant some shrubs, plant those flowers, give them time to grow and blossom and really thrive before you move them to different parts of your island where you want to decorate with them. For tip number three, I would suggest stocking up on necessities. This could include trees or flowers like we talked about in the last tip, but also this could just be something as simple as a new set of shovels. So that way, whenever you're planting things, you'll have plenty in case they break, but also, customization kits. I cannot stress enough how quickly I go through these, especially since I change everything that I'm designing 10 or 15 times. So I would suggest stocking up on these, especially since you did clear out some storage space. You can never have enough customization kits. Also, a bonus to that, did you guys know that if you customize a shovel or an ax or any of those tools that you use on a regular basis, it kind of resets the lifespan of them. So instead of them breaking, if they get close to falling apart, just recustomize them and they'll be brand new. Tip number four after flattening your island for me would be to look at your current custom designs and kind of just assess the inventory here. Are you going to be reusing a lot of these different designs? Are you going to want to free up some space and download some new ones? So just go through, see maybe what you would want to get rid of and swap out for something new that fits your new aesthetic that you want to go with. Similarly to that, get on Instagram, get on Twitter, get on Pinterest as well, and go find some amazing creators out there. Follow them, support them, like their artwork, shout them out. Not only is it an amazing way to find designs for your island, but the Animal Crossing community on the internet is so supportive, so welcoming. So that would be another suggestion and tip of mine is to network with other creators, see what they're making, and see if it can also help beautify your island a little bit as well. My final tip after flattening your island would be to decide how you want to plan it. Do you wanna just go with the flow and see how things unfold naturally? Or do you want to use a service like Island Planner, which is a really cool 3D platform where you can map out terraforming or Happy Island Designer, where you can find your exact map and then make it look however you want to ahead of time. There's no right or wrong answer. You don't even have to have a theme or a concept when it comes to playing Animal Crossing, which is the beauty of this game. It's where you can unleash your creativity in any way that you would like. Now, whenever it comes to me personally, I do like a little bit of structure in designing my island, whether it's picking a certain color scheme or a decade or a theme. And I wanted to do something that was a little bit different this time around. Uh, Calico 1.0 had a lot of orange and green. It had a lot of moody colors, a lot of forest elements in it as well. But for my next rendition of my island, I want to create a county fair. A lot of y'all guessed uh, carnival, which was really, really close, but I wanna bring in a lot of agriculture into this island, tons of farms, tons of livestock, maybe a farmer's market, a lot of crafting and textiles, uh, but 
also a lot of fun as well, where there are rides, there are psychics, there are contests, there are pageants. So I'm really excited with what we're going to do with the next rendition of this island. And I will absolutely bring y'all along with this journey if you want me to. Let me know in the comment section below of what you think of whenever you hear county or state fair. And yeah, I, I'm excited to do a little bit of digging online, get inspired and I don't know, that's that's about it. As far as villagers, we are going to, of course, keep Bo. We have recently acquired Molly and Tipper, but I'm thinking that we're also gonna get Shep, Buck, Maddie, Meringue, of course, because of pie eating contests. I mean, come on. Maybe Gala, Butch, and then I think we'll also keep Agnes since she is our sweet sisterly pig. With that said, y'all, if you enjoyed this video, if you are inspired to do something different with your island, don't be afraid to. Again, this is the beauty of this game is you have a blank canvas here. It is up to you to do whatever makes you happy, whatever sparks your creativity. With that said, y'all, I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.